Okay, to use our Google Doc account here at Centennial Middle School, we're going to be going to the home page. And if we go along the right side, we see Google Docs students. You want to click on that. And then you'll put in your username, and password. And then it'll take you to the home page. So then if we go over here, we can see create. So we create, and these are our options for our software. Document would be word processing, presentation would be a PowerPoint, and then spreadsheet would be our Excel. So we want to put in our data, so let's do spreadsheet. And let's say we're doing our cup experiment. We're testing to see how many degrees Celsius the cup loses heat over a 10 or 10 minute time period. So we would choose a paper cup, glass cup, and styrofoam. And then we're going to have our trials. So we're going to do three trials each. And let's just say for our data for the paper cup, it lost 20 degrees over 10 minutes on the first trial, 18 on the second, and then 20 on the third. The glass lost 25 degrees the first time, then 22 on the second trial, then 24, and then the styrofoam lost 4, and then 7 degrees, and then 4. Right, now, once we have all our data put in, to make our graph, we highlight click and drag to highlight not the trials, you can mess around with that later, but just the data and the, the measurements. Then we go to this little icon over here, it says insert chart. So this looks like a chart with a little frame around it, we'll click that. And the default chart that it goes to is this line graph. We don't want a line graph though, we want a bar chart for this one, or histogram. And we'll click on charts and we get to choose. So column, and we'll do this one, there we go. So it's kind of neat. We got blue for our paper results, red for our glass, orange for our styrofoam. Now all we want to do is we want to change, we, we got to fill in our chart titles and our axis labels. So we'll go to customize, chart title, we'll call it cups loss of heat. And notice how it changes. Then we'll go down a little bit. We want to rename the axis, the horizontal one down here. We want that to read trials. And, and then it becomes that. And then we want our vertical axis to be temperature. degrees Celsius. All right, now once we're done, look at it. We can, you can also change all kinds of other stuff if you want. Um, the font, the background, there's different features you can mess around with, so feel free to mess around with that. We're going to insert, and then once it's in back to our spreadsheet, we'll click on it once again, and then click on this little arrow up here, and we want it to we can copy chart, and if you're using a, a um, Mac, you have these options. PC, you would just be able to right-click and save, copy, and paste, but the Mac, you have to go do that. But let's click on it again. Let's save it as a separate sheet. Move to own sheet. And now if we look down here on our spreadsheet, we got our tabs. Here's, we go back to our data and we go to our our chart. So now we want to put it on something. So we go back up here and back to our home page, create, and we can do a document or a presentation. I'm going to show you a presentation real quick. We put our presentation in there. And then we get to choose our presentation, be the PowerPoint, and let's choose our 
design. We'll use the blue one. Double click on that. And here we go. Our title. We can just click on the box. So cups and floss of heat. We put your name down there. Now to get a new slide, we go back up here and we click on this little next to the plus sign, click on that arrow, so we get our options of where we want gives us different text windows and things like that. So I'm going to click to how we want a title at the top, so I'll add that one. Then I'm going to want another one below it as well. So our first one, I'm going to do data table. And now I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and I'm going to go down to my sheet and I'm going to highlight my data table. Now, to get a proper data table, I'm going to want to put my measurement, which would be in Celsius for each of these. And then we highlight the whole thing, drag with the mouse, and then we're going to do copy it. And right click, copy. So for the Mac, we have to do that. And then we'll go to our presentation, click on that somewhere, and then paste. There it is. So now, once it's on there, we can put it down where we can see it, and we can drag to make it bigger. There we go, our data table. I want to do the same thing for our graphs. So we go on to the side graph and we go back to our spreadsheet we go to our chart and we copy it and we go back to our presentation click on it and then we paste and then we have to resize that and drag it to where we want it to be Do what you want, resize it, and there we go. Now to to watch our show, to see what we have. We go view presentation, and there's our title. Click our data table. Click our graph. End of show. And escape back. So you can also use different tools up here for animation, for slide transition, and you can also cut and paste it onto a Word document. Okay, that's it, and good luck.